Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review the Air Canada business class flight from San Francisco to Toronto. Our aircraft is the Airbus 330-300. Our flight took off on an early Saturday morning around 7 a.m. At that time, there was already a very long line in SFO at the security checkpoint. Even for TSA pre-check, the line wasn't that short. Luckily, I had both clear and TSA pre-check, so I was able to jump in line and pass the security check within five minutes. Since it was so early, the airline lounge wasn't open yet. I hadn't eaten anything yet, so I was super eager to find a restaurant or lounge to get something. I went to my favorite SFO restaurant on the priority pass list, Yankee Pier. Then walked from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3. On Google Map, it was said the restaurant would open at 5 a.m., but when I arrived, it showed it wouldn't open till 6. So my second choice was the Centurion Lounge. It was further away from Terminal 2, but not far away from the Yankee Pier. Unfortunately, once again, when I arrived, the lounge was still closed and would only open at 7. Just to fill up, I got my favorite matcha latte from Cafe X, the robotic barista. The walk back from Terminal 3 to Terminal 2 was interesting, as there were many artworks along the way. I also noticed there opened a sweet maple in Terminal 2. It's one of my favorite brunch restaurants in the Bay Area. Check out my recent video sharing about this super popular brunch in Palo Alto. I booked my flight with ANA points. It was one of the three segments of my trip to Europe. ANA provided one of the best values to book business class tickets using reward points. Feel free to leave a comment if you are interested in learning more. Even though the flight was a bit less than five hours, it provided a live flat business class seat. This was great news to me as I didn't get enough sleep. On this Airbus 330, the cabin is laid out in a one-to-one -one configuration, with eight rows of seats for a total of 32. It used the outward-facing herringbone layouts. So every seat had direct aisle access. The cabin looked new and seemed to be recently updated. My husband and me were sitting in 2G and 2K. There were no pre-departure beverages to offer, but instead a bottle of water on the table. There was also no amenity kit, probably due to its relatively short flight. Let's first check out the seat. There are two cubbies. The forward one only holds the remote controller for the entertainment screen. The rear one has more room and can serve as a storage space. You'll find the noise-canceling headphones and the vanity kit here. You'll also find the headphone ports, USB Type A and C charging ports, and a universal power outlet. The design is very neat. The charging wires can be well captured in the cabin while it's closed. In addition, all of the seat features can be controlled from the small touchscreen panel found above the armrest. The seat back and leg rest are both individually adjustable. Allowing for a variety of positions and ease to adjust to what is right for you. You can also set it to massage mode. Here are your Euro lighting controls, cabin crew call, and do not disturb buttons. There are operable dividers between the two middle seats, making them a good option for couples traveling together.
The tray table is stowed in a folded position. You can slide it out a bit and fold it out to give more surface area. Then there's the foot cubby at the front of the seat. It's in regular size for business class. The in-flight entertainment touchscreen is responsive and easy to use. There is a wide variety of genres in the library, from recently released blockbusters to timeless classics. On the other side, there is an adjustable armrest. It can be lowered to provide easy access when getting in or out of the seat. It can also be raised to support your arm and provides more privacy. The armrest can be used as another large storage space. Here is a handy coke hook on the right next to the screen. There is no free Wi-Fi on the flight. You can follow the steps to purchase one and the subscription started with 7 Canadian dollars for an hour. Shortly after taking off, we were served with breakfast. The breakfast started with fruits and coconut chai seed pudding. Followed by an omelette with sausages on the side. The food was good but nothing spectacular. Have a glass of red wine to help you relax. After wrapping up breakfast, I decided to lie down and take a nap. There was a pillow, a quilted mattress, and a duvet provided a pretty departure. The flight attendants didn't offer any turn down service. Overall, I was super happy to take a live flat business class seat for such a relatively short haul flight. Thanks for watching this video. What's your favorite airline for short haul business class? Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel to follow my travel journey and tips. See you next time.